Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my Pan That Palette for 2020 Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. I talked about this, before we get into the video, I talked about this a little bit in my last live stream, which was the eyeshadow palette tag. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I did get some feedback and some comments about how my continued use of this palette is promoting the brand and the brand owner, and I, I really... I'm sorry if it came across like that. I really did the full explanation in my intro video, which is kind of why I keep saying go back to watch that intro, but I'm thinking it might be best to throw like maybe a little disclaimer at the beginning of every video so that I can explain my thought process a little bit. So I'll probably have something at the beginning of the video just to kind of explain I'm not promoting the brand, I'm trying to use up what I have, and then by the end of this year I will no longer own anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I will be decluttering everything, and for most of them, I'm like the lipsticks, I'm just gonna throw them away. But I think for the palettes, like I still have the Thirsty palette, I kind of want to sell that, and the Blue Blood palette, because I barely use the Blue Blood palettes, <laughs> the Blue Blood palette, so I kind of want to sell that. I actually had a basket of makeup I wanted to sell, but then COVID hit, so I'm not gonna be doing any shipping and anything right now, but eventually I think I am going to do that. So I just wanted to put that here at the beginning and just kind of further explain my goal for this project. Now with that out of the way, I did make some progress and I am now officially two thirds of the way done with this palette. And we're at like the halfway point of the year, right? So I, don't th I think that's pretty good. I think I am right on track to finish my original goal fairly early. So before we jump into the update and the look that I have on my eyes, because I did film this look, let's go ahead and take a look at the slideshow of my progression with this palette. And this is what my palette looks like now. You see all those pans? Two rows, all pan. <laughs> so of course this past uh, month I was able to finish the last, or get pan, in the last two shades of the second row, which was this purple shade right here, and then the shimmer right here. So now I have pan in every one of those, and I am now going to be working on the bottom row, because I don't have a whole lot of progress with these shades up here, which the look that I'm wearing right now that I'm going to try to be focusing on moving forward includes three of mainly these three shades. But it's so satisfying. Look at that. Like, there's no... There's something so nice about looking at just a well-used palette. So yes, now I only have to focus on like these darker shades. So I, I want to get a little bit more out of my comfort zone and do like these kind of bright red looks. And now that I've hit pan in every shimmer, there is like a satin shade right here, but it's not really a shimmer because when you go to use it, it's basically like a, a matte shade. So what I've been doing is bringing in some single packaged shadows to complement these shades. Like what I'm wearing on my eyes right now is from ColourPop. That is a super shock shadow. I have the shadow in a Sailor and Frog and I'm wearing Frog today and I just I really it's like one of my favorite single shadows of all time and I just I really enjoy bringing this in to use but my new well not new favorite but one of my go-to shades is from Geek Chic, yep, yeah, Geek Chic Cosmetics, and it's a loose shadow. And unfortunately, I did a whole Instagram post talking about Geek Chic Cosmetics and how much I loved them and their products. I think they're out of business, which makes me very sad because I was really getting into using the products, and it's a shame that you can't really get them anymore. I looked at their website, their website is still up, and they still have all the listings, but everything says sold out. So I have no idea if they're going to be coming back in stock, which is a shame because I really love these products. But this was a collection. This was a shadow from their Hannibal Lecter collection, and this is in the shade Eat the Rude. And this is just a beautiful bright red shimmer that's not too dark. That looks gorgeous. So I'll throw a picture up right here of the shade all over my lid to that I included in that Instagram post that I posted. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me there. I've been doing a lot better at posting there, but I just, I love this shade. So the two shades I've really been bringing in, and I want to continue to do that, bring in uh, liquid shadows, bring in single shadows to really use with the remaining matte shades that I have to hit pan in this palette. So I've been doing that a lot. I also, I really like this warm kind of, um, 
what kind of shade is it like a an orangey a light orange coral kind of shade i really like that and i've even been using that when i do like my normal purple look because typically when i do the purple look with like these shades i would go for the pink toned shimmer but going for the coral toned shimmer also looks really pretty so that's the reason why i was able to finally hit pan on that shade because I wasn't restricting myself to really only using it with certain uh, shades. I also used that when I did this look before. Um, instead of using the Sailor's or the Super Shock shadow on my lid, I would use uh, this shimmer instead. But now that I've already hit pan in the shimmer, I, I kind of want to experiment a bit more just to see what I can get out of this. And I do have plenty of other uh, single shadows. I have, I have um, not just like individually packaged ones like this. I do have a bunch of... Um, like single pan shadows. So I'm thinking of looking through those and seeing if there's any shimmers in there that might work well with these shades too. And sorry if it looks like I am profusely sweating. It is hot and you're gonna hear me complain about it being hot until my family decides to turn the AC on. <laughs> I'm in an attic and it's hot. So yeah, a, a nice quick update, but I am officially two thirds of the way done. I'm really excited. And I think the next shade is looking at this, I'm gonna hit pan it. I think it's gonna be this one because I did use this a lot doing that purple look. That was my go-to look that I had in my last update video. And there's a dip in it, like I see a big dip. So I think if anything, it's either gonna be this one or this red right here that I've been using as my transition. So before I end the video, I almost ended it before I showed you the look. Let's go ahead and jump quickly into the look that I have on today. I got the look that I'm wearing today and that is my current update so I, I'm doing really well I think I'm st I think I'm on par I don't want to jinx myself but I'm pretty sure I'm on par to finish this by the end of this year so thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below how your pan that palette is going we're basically at the halfway mark now so exciting and also scary <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video
बाय